Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on September 1st, 2024. Welcome to another Survivor Having Day on the Planet, and welcome to a quick space weather update as we just had quite a large event happen on our sun. Having a look here at the last two days of imagery, you're going to be watching the bottom left hand region here for a strong M class solar flare. Look at that blast of cosmic energy coming from a very active sunspot region was noted and pointed out over the last few days in the latest updates. But I'm pointing out here the most recent events, long and strong M-class solar flare and as well another M-class solar flare that was Earth-facing in the equatorial region. Let's put this into motion now. Look at that did produce a very large coronal mass ejection as being visualized here, but a lot of plasma and cosmic energy associated with this large blast. And we haven't even gotten all the complete images yet as it is still blasting away. Having a look at 304 angstroms, this is where we can see the plasma filaments at play. Now I did note the plasma filaments equatorial region on the right hand side which is outgoing that big spiraling column but there was some more activity in the equatorial region on the opposite side of the planet uh, the of the sun and as well in the north so lots of plasma filaments dancing around the surface of our sun right now and this is heightened activity into solar maximum we're going to see more and more events like this now, especially the strong M-class solar flares. And that is evident over the past couple of months, as we've seen. This is only showing the last 48 hours of events, and there's quite a bit of activity here. This incoming sunspot region is definitely a region to watch. This could produce one of our strongest space weather events of our time. Solar cycle 25, solar maximum, is here. Having a look at multi-spectrum, darkened region in the northern hemisphere. That is a coronal hole getting ready for Earth-facing party. We're already being inundated by this coronal hole wind stream. Solar winds were up in over 400 kilometers per second. A KP index hopped up as well. As forecasted here with daily events worldwide, and the geomagnetic instability will continue over the next 24 hours. Current space weather conditions are two moderate radio blackout impacts expected, high frequency radio communications. Solar winds are coming in at 412 kilometers per second. Solar X ray flux, as you can see here, strong and long duration M class solar flare. Solar proton flux instantly elevated. Geomagnetic activity did hop up to a KP5 yesterday. And this is where we got the space weather from. This is the current or the most recent space weather prediction spiral. All of the yellow activity entering the green circle, which is Earth, is the geomagnetic instability. ISWA space prediction spiral here showing faint CME outgoing position. And then another one here. I'm not sure if this is from the most recent M-class solar flare and that big plasma filament I showed, but definitely another one put into the models here as we could see that energy over the next 72 hours. And here's a look at Lasco showing that large blast from our sun. Big coronal mass ejection from incoming sunspot region. Happened at about midnight last night. Amazing images here brought to you by Lasco at NASA and Soho. Looking at a broad spectrum here. Looks like missing a little bit of data in between the CME model there and as well. It is not quite finished yet as still waiting for the next pictures to complete this coronal mass ejection visual. 
want to thank you all for watching today. Please don't forget to smack that like button. It's all about staying aware and prepared here with daily events worldwide. See you for the next update. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your daily do.